Hi, I'm Bruce Asia, and in this video, we'll be looking at the various Cubase track types and tools. If you look in the Cubase project window, and I right click in this area here, you'll see there are various options, add audio track, add instrument track, add MIDI track, and so on. These all relate to various track types in Cubase. Um, the most straightforward perhaps is add audio track. If I click on add audio track here, it'll give me the option to choose audio inputs and audio outputs and give it a track name. So let's just call it test audio. Add track. You'll notice straight away that you get the inspector here that provides various information about the track and various things we can do to manipulate the content on that track. You'll also get these various buttons here, which relate to the track type. We can use it for editing audio. We can use it for recording automation and various other features. If I click add MIDI track, this allows me to add a track which stores MIDI information. Well, let's call this MIDI test. When I open this track, you'll notice that the contents of this inspector window change. So this will change depending on the track type. We'll explore various other track types at a later time, but the most important thing here to remember is that the content does change on the left-hand side. We can resize the track headers here, so it actually allows you to see a little bit more information when I open and close that. We'll be looking at recording some MIDI information uh, but it's worth pointing out in Cubase that MIDI and instrument tracks are somewhat different. If I add an instrument track, this is the quickest way of accessing virtual instruments within Cubase. So in this one, I've not you notice that Halion Sonic SE is chosen automatically. That's included with Cubase. If I click Add Track, what this does, it creates a track which allows me to input some MIDI information, but it also sets it up ready for some sounds to play immediately. If we look at the right zone for this track here, you'll notice that I have Halion Sonic SE in this area, and this is a, the track is already set up. So these, are, this, this, these relate to instrument tracks. In this one here, there's nothing rooted. Uh, you'll notice that I have to add a rack instrument. So these are two slightly different things. MIDI can control external devices, and it can control internal instruments. Instrument tracks are tied directly to instruments within Cubase. And you'll find also that when you actually open up the lower zone and you look at the mixer, you'll find that I've got this channel already set up nicely for me. There are lots of other different track types in Cubase and we're exploring them in more detail in other videos. Uh, we have a sampler track, we have effects tracks, group tracks. Uh, we have a number of these aspects that relate to, relate to routing in the mixer folder tracks, which allow you to manage the tracks within the project window, uh, marker tracks for determining um, and improving a navigation within a project, a ruler track, for example, here, I can add, and it allows me to show bars and beats, but I can show seconds and various other things. So I can separate this from the main ruler along the top of the window. The other aspect that's very important to get to grips with in Cubase besides tracks are the various tools that are available to you. The most common tools are actually available in the toolbar along the top here. But you'll also find if you right click with the mouse, you'll get the various access to the various tools. Hovering over any of these icons provide a little bit more information about what they actually do. And in fact, the icons themselves determine, um, are very clear in terms of what they actually show. So we've got the selection tool. We have this range selection tool for choosing a range of events, a drawing tool or a pencil tool for actually drawing in information, an eraser for erasing information, scissors for splitting um, events, a glue tool for joining them together, mute, we have a zoom tool, uh, this is for actually when we're doing comping uh, multiple tracks, more advanced feature, which we'll come to in a later video. Time warp and warp gridding for manipulating audio and MIDI in interesting ways when you're working at different tempos. We have a line tool, which is much like the uh, pencil tool here, but drawing a long line of events that scale over various values. Play tool and also the color tool for coloring the various events. In this video, we looked at different track types in Cubase. And we noticed that when we added the tracks, different information was available in the inspector. We looked at tools, and we also noticed that the tools vary depending on where you are within the interface and which editor window you have open.